Fuck death row should be in my hands. I should be running that shit just like I'm a position at death, death, Jeff Jam. <clears throat> death row means more to me because I helped create that. Right. I think they should give me that. Let me run that shit. Put the merchandise out. Put the music all over the world. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Find some new acts, some new West Coast acts because there's so many acts. Just look at it like this. If they'd have gave it to me five years ago, I would have had Roddy Rich, Ty Dolla Sign, YG. Anything coming out the West would have been on death row. Right. Tell me I'm lying. Hey. Tell me I'm lying. I mean, you connected, so they can't say you're if lying. If I'm running death row records, and all them little niggas need a deal, and they all my nephews, not in all, I fuck with them all before they had deals. Right. If I had a position, this would have been an easy, come on in. Lay up. You up under the logo. Right. What, what, uh, who, who is administrating, like, who running death row right now? What company? Death row was, death row was bought by E1, and then E1 sold. A company called Blacks. E1 sold to a company called Blackstone. So Blackstone has Death Row and E1 right now. But, uh, you know, Lil Birdie told me that it may fly my way soon. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's going to be, it's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> so, so, so. Like What's good, y'all? It's Coffee with the news, and y'all hear that clip. Snoop over there on a million dollars worth of game, chopping it up with Wallow and Gilly. And what do y'all think of this, man? I think this is dope. I hope that this indeed does happen. Like, the way Snoop was breaking it down, it sounds like, you know, you heard him. He said a little birdie told me death row is going to come my way, you know, because if y'all remember, uh, the news broke some months back that... Um, Hasbro, you know, owns Death Row's uh, catalog and the rights to all its intellectual properties and all that. You know what I mean? Because you heard Snoop talking about E1, which used to be Koch Records, you know, um, had bought Death Row. And then now uh, E1 or Koch, now E1, was a absorbed by uh, Hasbro or however it went down. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Potato Head is owning Death Row and giving uh, DJ Quick some lame-ass checks, if y'all remember that. DJ Quick was burning them up and all that. But nonetheless, Snoop is saying this is on his bucket list. You heard him. It was something he helped build. Uh, you know, I, I, I hope this happens. Like, comment and let me know if you guys agree. And I really like, too, how he was saying... You know, if he had owned Death Row, he would have got all the artists from the West, YG, uh, Roddy Rich, Ty Dolla Sign, all them signed uh, to Death Row. That would be that would be so dope, I think, for the West, man. Snoop's always trying to put on new artists, working with new artists, collabing with them, putting people up on game. Like Snoop just seems to genuinely be a good dude who wants to share the game with people and help people advance their careers you know what i mean not a lot of individuals they get the um they get put on game or they come up and and they don't want to um share the love like snoop is not like that at all you know so i hope this happens comment let me know what you guys think uh like i said to me it sounds like it's already in the works next up y'all what in the fuck is this about you see what it's saying on the screen about elbow uh, this is from an old interview that Queens Flip did with an FBI agent, and he was saying these things that, uh, you know, allegedly Elpo said, and I don't know, like, if this was some issue he was talking about in prison or, or what, I don't know, like, Elpo, from my understanding, was known to be a ladies man, like, uh, did we even hear now reports of when he was killed? He was uh, going to meet up with a woman. You know, that's the way it goes down a lot when people get got. They get set up through a female very, very often, you know. But uh, this, like I said, this little clip, this little excerpt from this interview on Queens Flip's platform with the FBI agent the is he was saying about Elpo. I don't know. It's, it's back in the news. Y'all can comment. Let me know what y'all. I, I don't even know what to say about this ish. R.I.P. to Elpo, though. Next up, y'all, this movie that I just watched was scary as fuck, y'all. Like, don't watch this movie or do watch it if you love horror films. Um, I don't watch horror a lot. You know what I mean? I like drama, crime dramas, 
um, biopics. I like all kinds of movies. Like, don't get me wrong. I fluck with horror from time to time. But, man, like, let's watch an old Jason movie or something. You know what I mean? Or an old Saw movie. Um, something like that. You know, let's watch a slasher film. Let's watch Scream, okay? These psychological thrillers, which is what this Vivarium film would fall into that category, I believe, freak me to fuck out sometimes like have you ever watched a scary movie and you're like man i wish i didn't watch that you know what i mean like it kind of sticks in your head it's just so disturbing freaks you out i like that's how i feel about this film um i had seen like you know scrolling through prime or i believe it was prime before and came across the movie and um, i'm not going to give too much out i don't want to spoil it if anyone does want to watch the movie but I just seen something like where it said a couple ends up in this neighborhood and when they go to leave, it's like a labyrinth where all the houses look the same and they can't get out. They're like stuck there. And I'll kind of leave it at that. But when I seen that, I said, oh, OK, maybe I'll check this out. And like I said, I'm wishing that I didn't because it's scary as fuck, man. It's very, very disturbing. Um, so, like I said, don't watch it. Or if you love horror films, watch it. Let me know what you thought about it. If you've seen the movie jump in the comments next up in some nfl news um it seems obj has signed with the rams let me know what you guys think about that if you think it will be a good fit for obj um i saw some people commenting you know regarding all the drama in cleveland and a, a lot of people were saying yo beckham ain't ain't worth the the what he does to a team like some people are referring to him as a like he's a cancer to a team in the locker room um, I don't know, though, you know, like, did he really have issues in New York or it just seemed to me like him and Baker had these uh, problems or whatever. But it's still wild to me the way his dad took to the gram like that. But, hey, it is what it is. That's, uh, you know, history. It's behind OBJ. Now he gets a fresh start with the Rams. I was going to report on um, a, 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 another guy because, you know, OBJ went to LSU in this receiver, Justin Jefferson, who also, he plays for the Vikings, but he played college ball at LSU, you know, uh, was commenting on OBJ's uh, situation where he was going to sign because there was some talk about him in the Packers. And um, obviously now we know that didn't happen. He's signing with, uh, he signed with the Rams. Schefter said it, like I always say, y'all, if Schefter said it, you know it's, that's what's up, you heard? But, um, he was uh, this Justin Jefferson guy was just saying, man, I hope he don't sign with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Rogers throwing the ball to to um, OBJ. That would be lit. It would be a great fit for him. But he just didn't want his, um, you know, bro to play against his divisional rival, you know, because Green Bay <clears throat> Vikings are both in the NFC North and they haven't even played their first matchup yet of the season. So. He's like, I just don't want to have to pay against the bro uh, two times. You know, I don't want him to be my divisional rival, but uh, he don't have to worry about that. Because like I said, OBJ with the Rams. What do you guys think, man? This is big news, man. Will, will he go on to tear things up in L.A.? Will he thrive with this new start? What do y'all think? And then uh, last up on the news, guys, Henry Ruggs uh, update. He just had another court appearance. He didn't actually appear, though. His attorney just took care of things. You know, he's out on bail, um, didn't have to appear in person. But the lawyer is filing motions to try to get the medical records, like, not to be evidence, you know, to keep them out of the hands of the prosecutors. Um, I guess my guess is, you know, that proving that he was intoxicated. Um, but. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if they got blood from him or he did blow in the in the meter or whatever. But I, I don't know that this will work um, either way, man. This guy's going down, I think. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. I said before, man, we all make mistakes. I'm far from a saint. Believe that. But just driving 165 or 156, whatever he was going is like. I, I compared it to like firing a gun off into a crowd of people in a public place or something. It's just reckless as hell. And at the court date, he actually got hit with some other charges. Um, uh, driving under the influence, 
but while causing substantial injury, which is a felony. Uh, he got that gun possession charge, which is only a misdemeanor. I didn't know that. Like if a, a, a gun is illegal, I thought it's automatically a felony. I don't know. I'm no legal expert, though, you know. And hey, pay attention, y'all. There is a lot of other people on YouTube who ain't experts either, but they're out here fronting like they are, like lying to people. You heard? Uh, but <clears throat> um, and also uh, reckless driving. So I don't know, man. You know, I don't know exactly what the legal strategy is here. Trying to get these records that it out, you know, not be evidence in this case but i don't think it's gonna work um and and they're saying he could do as low as two years and as many as 50 so i don't know we'll have to wait and see how this all plays out at the end of the day though just such a tragedy and and a, a stupid tragedy like we've pointed out before a woman's dead died a horrible death burnt alive i believe her dog was in there with her died burnt up as well um you know, a guy threw his whole life away, had a rookie, you know, a great receiver who had a seemingly long career ahead of him, throws his whole career, his life away, kills someone all to drive drunk and then not just drive drunk, drive like a total idiot, like a total jackass over 100 miles an hour. Come on, man. Shit. If you were rounding up it rounding up to 200, he was going over a buck 50. Like, it's just so ludicrous, ridiculous and you know, someone's dead. So tap in and comment with your thoughts on that, guys. That's going to conclude this one. Make sure to subscribe if you're new guys over here on J Coffee Talk. We drop content every day. We talk music, news, sports, and so much more on this channel. We literally cover it all, y'all. So I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'm gone.